Pull and drag, pull and drag. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Biggin, biggin, come here. What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm out here at the pond again with my buddy Austin, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be doing a fishing challenge for y'all today. And Austin, go ahead and show what we got today in that we box. We got the Timu, made in China. Let's see if you can read that. It's probably, yeah, 74 piece set. Let's give it a crack open. We got rattle trap. We got some jigs over here. We got a shrimp, we're gonna give that a try. We do have smaller shrimp as well. Uh, a few little crickets in there, some small worms, fat slugs, I guess you call them. You know, the assortment, it's pretty awesome. They give you one slide weight, that's pretty cool. Uh, a couple hooks and swivel and spoons. We're gonna give them all a try and see what we can get for you guys today. Whoop, whoop. Yep, so the goal of this challenge is we're gonna eat, uh, fish with each one of these baits and our goal is to catch a one fish, bass or perch, it doesn't matter, on every single one of these baits that are in this box. Now, if y'all end up enjoying the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to give this video the big thumbs up. And uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy. Uh, this is gonna be a challenge. I've never used these before, so let's give it a try. Let's get to fishing. All right, so here's our box from Timu right here. We have our little soft plastics right here. We got some uh, jig heads, small hooks, swivels. Then we got our rattle trap, relentless crankbait, jerk bait, and then it looks like we got some spoons right here with some feathers on the treble hooks, which is pretty cool. And then we have two wire leaders. So our goal is to catch a fish out of each section of this today. So we gotta catch a fish using these soft plastics, like one or two, because there's a whole bunch of them in here. We got shrimp, we got little bugs, we got worms, grubs. So it's a selection there. I'm gonna catch one on that, one on that, and one on that. Now this being a small pond, I'm gonna try not to get these treble hooks stuck in logs and everything that's down there. So to start, I'm gonna start with one of these worms right here. And I'm gonna rig it up in the most weird way. I'm gonna rig it up on a wacky worm setup, which probably everyone's gonna think is weird, but I'm just gonna try it out. And I almost bet it works. Super small, just like that. <laughs> Why does it keep going over there? I don't want it to go over there. bit better. I'm switching to one of these rooster tail type things. These spoons, whatever you want to call them.
Caught one. Out of the pond. Don't out of the box. All right, hold on. Let me turn on the big camera. Come on. All right, Looks Austin's the gone. first. Austin's the first one on the board. Show him the bait that you used. The little baby green. Just did a little goofy rig on it and didn't care. A little uh, bobber about action. A bobber about two feet down. Yeah, a little jerking. Come on, baby. Beautiful yellow. How about that? That's an eater. <laughs> All right, here we go. Away from the dogs. <laughs> Hope I don't get stuck on it. Now this is that rooster tail thing. Has really good action in the water. It goes like back and forth. Really good. Hopefully I can cast this and not get stuck in a tree. I don't think this Timu spoon is doing very good. Just had a bite right there. as soon as it hit the water. Spoon. Nothing's wanting to hit this spoon. Got one. As soon as I said something. <laughs> there we go. Bass on the spoon. There we go, guys. First fish on the Timu bait it was this it's like a rooster tail spoon looking thing i got this little bass see barely hooked on those little tiny trebles beautiful little bass gorgeous little bass first one down so now me and austin are tied he caught one on that little green grub and i finally caught one on uh, one of these hard baits really good looking bass See you later. All right, next bait up is this one right here, this rattle trap, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get stuck on something. Okay, there we go. It's a really nice rattle trap. Really nice, really good colors. Who knows, it might get hit immediately.
Yep, I'm gonna try the rattle trap. Hopefully I can get one on the rattle trap. This thing swims horribly. And it floats pretty well. Got one, Austin. Good one. Good one. Pulling drag, pulling drag. Biggin, biggin, Austin, biggin. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Biggin, biggin, come here. Hurry. Hurry, biggin, 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 Austin. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. No, 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 don't touch the line, don't touch the line, don't touch the line. It's very thin, very thin, very thin. Grab him, grab him, grab him. It came off. Got him? Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Yes! And look what I did on the way over here. Oh, <gasps> hooking the finger. It's okay, I know a trick to get that out. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Freaking behemoth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, I'll leave this in for footage. My, my, pot, my pole got caught on a tree. Guys, just caught a freaking giant. <laughs> and I did too. Oh my gosh, check this out. Oh, oops. I got excited when he called me over there to go get it in my tree. My rod got stuck in a tree. And I just yanked it in my fingers. It's not too deep. I guess you could say deep enough. We're gonna get it out. Yeah, yank that. No, 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 don't do that. Oh. oh! You got it, okay. Okay, there it is. Sweet. That's out, it's out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. On the Timu rattle, rattle trap. trap. <laughs> rattle trap! Freaking. Let's go. <clears throat> Biggin'. <laughs> it's that beautiful fish. Goodness. All right, perfect. All right, here is the big one. Dang, big girl. And I'm six foot four with giant hands. <laughs> Get a release on her. Big fish. 
って。That's gorgeous. Whew. On a pond like this. Well, there you have it, guys. Ooh, that was bait number two from the Timu box. Catch number two for you. Catch number two, Catch yeah. Catch number two for me wasn't as lucky. Yeah, hooking the thumb. <laughs> Ooh, but it is so hot out here, guys. I don't know if y'all can see, but I am sweating profusely. But we're gonna make this video today. We are not even halfway done yet. We still got a few more baits out of the Timu box. The next one up is gonna be- The long boy. The long boy, the jerk bait from Timu. See if we can catch another big one. I'm gonna throw a little bug on. Look at this little bug here. That little thing looks pretty decent. I mean, shoot, for out here for perch. I told Eric he's gonna get all the big boys today. All right, so now that we've caught that giant, now we're gonna wrap up the jerk bait and use it. Now I also wanna give a shout out to this rod that I'm using today. This is a Temple Fork, Temple Fork Outfitters rod. It is a GTS Bass, six foot nine medium. So you can really fill everything with this rod. You can really get some really good action with your baits. So that's what I'm using, the Gold Series. Whew, I'm shaking, 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 shaking. I don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated or excited, but it's one of them. Whew. Well, let's come back down here. We caught that big one down there, but we let it go down there. Just gorging themselves on bait fish, big bass. Heavy, goodness. Now, I know a bunch of y'all have been telling me in the comments, I need to get a scale so I can start, you know, telling y'all the weights of these fish, but at the same time, I really enjoy not knowing at all the weight. It really leaves a mystery to it, but eventually I'll get a scale, eventually. But yeah, I caught that fish, it was like right there. Just chilling right there. That's insane. I wonder if there's any other big ones with it. All right, now with the jerk bait, you can kind of just reel it or you can pop it. A lot of people pop it to get some extra action. But I kind of just want to reel it because there's sunken trees here and if I pop it right into a tree, it ain't coming out. Can't believe that, another big bass out of here. I don't want to say it was the same one, but I think that one was a little bit smaller than the first one. That's insane. Never have I caught some fish out of here like that. Wild. Red light on. Got a little action here. A little shrimp eating a worm. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out. It might be something funny, something goofy. You know, we're out here goofing. <laughs> Goofing squad, not the Goofing squad. Let's go, that's honey hole area. Right off the bank. I think probably my favorite. Oh. So for my last bait up for the box, I'm gonna use this little jig head right here that came in there. So I can get some distance on the casting. And then to top it off, I'll put one of these green things on that Austin used. Because it has little legs back there to flail. To move around when I'm swimming, moving the jig. I gotta say, these hooks on here are pretty sharp too. They grab you pretty good. But here we go. Hopefully I can do this. So 
So just like that, that's how we're gonna have our jig. Instead of reeling, just, just reeling fast. I didn't want to jerk it up too hard. Tiny, probably gonna be a tiny fish. Yeah. Oh man, right there. Let's go. Oh, right at the bank. <laughs> there we go. There you have it. Ate it. There we go. There is my bass on the soft plastic. I used the uh, redhead jig in there. I used that little green uh, grub worm. That other bass could have eaten that one. Oh yeah, definitely. Probably has tried, but yeah, that is what I was using right there to catch this bass. Little green grub worm, little red jig head. That was the combo. Really, really pretty bass. Pale. Really pale. All right. See you later, little guy. Back. Oh, gone. So I've caught one on the rattle trap. I've caught one on the spoon rooster tail thing we're gonna call it. And now I've caught one on the grub. So the only thing I have left is that stupid jerk bait. Yeah. Because I've been using the other little seat baits. Yeah, so Austin's caught them on all those other little baits that are in that box. Little perch. Fish is still a fish. Yeah, I do. So so far the Timu box is shit. Great success. Great success. Nice. Alright, 
so the last freaking one it's gonna have to be just a lucky bite on this thing it's pretty big for this pond go last bait oh crap there's a hole there <laughs> all right here we go I think this jerk bait's gonna be too big. Yeah, you have to go back over to the honey hole. All I need is one little hungry bass to come eat it. That's true, you might want the tail. And it already produced like a five or six pounder. Let's go. Too. Little, little medium boy. Got him. Ooh, gill hooker. Got him. Oh yeah, it's in the gills. That's. Hey, you knocked that freaking Timu box out of the park. Oh shoot, dude, <laughs> almost got me. Oh, I hate dealing with double treble hooks. They're sketchy. Super sketch. So yeah, that is all the baits in the Timu box knocked out. All right, there is my final fish. Finally caught one on the jerk bait in the Timu box. Right there, little guy, not a monster, but still a fish caught on the last bait in the Timu box. Let's go. I'm really surprised we were able to come out here and pull this off today. It is freaking scorching hot out here. It is, it is like in the hundreds, I think, right? Now. I think it's like a hundred actually, exactly right now. Yeah, but yeah. came out and made it up. Final fish done. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. <sighs> All right, y'all. We just finally finished oh. the challenge. We are drenched in sweat, as you can obviously see. And we end up catching a fish on every single one of these lures, which was wild. I really had my doubts, but we actually got it done about an hour and a half, hour yeah. and 45. It was actually pretty quick. The only thing we didn't catch was shrimp. You know, and I don't think they like that around here. You know, we're in ponds. We yeah. hit the ocean with those maybe. But this shrimp right here, we could not get them to bite or the, that. Or the little one. And I even put a little worm in its mouth, you know, yeah. basically set it up. But They just did not want it. But anyway, yeah, catching that big one on that rattle trap was definitely, definitely a surprise. Did not see that coming because that thing would go sideways and it'd go down. It had the worst action ever but a big giant bass came up and ate it, which blew my mind. And a really big shout out to Austin here for uh, providing this for us today. He went out and got this and it was a very, very good surprise. It was a great little video. Father's Day gift, it, you know. It was a lot of fun doing this video with him. So Austin, thank you so much, my man. It was an awesome time. So if y'all like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give it the big thumbs up and go out there and get you a Timu box. Woo! Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.